Welcome back and to the second topic of the day. The governor of River State, Yesam Wike, has made known his stance on defection. He has emphasized that since he is not interested in defecting to another political party, he will continue to speak out against issues in the PDP to ensure it does not die. The governor said as a founding member of the PDP, he would continue to speak against whatever is militating against the progress of the party, irrespective of who is in charge of the NWC, that's the National Working Committee. It had been earlier reported that Wiki had accused the NWC of causing disunity among PDP governors. Joining us to discuss this, we have uh, Mr. Oladimeji Fabi, who is a member of the PDP. Good evening, Mr. Oladimeji Fabi. Yeah, good evening, my brother. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm great. And uh, we also have Haya King, a legal practitioner, who is also joining us from River State. Good evening, Haya King. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much. I'm here. I'm good to have you. Let me start from River State. I want to change the tempo now. Uh, what exactly do you think Governor Wike is talking about? Because people will want to remind us that the current NWC was not the making of uh, Governor Wike. I'm trying to remember the seconders' um, emergence. What do you think is playing out? Well, I am not a member of PDP. Yes, but, I'm aware. Uh, from what uh, I can understand, it's very simple. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Governor Nguike uh, moves to another party because uh, it has happened uh, several uh, times. There is nothing wrong with that as far as uh, uh, Nigeria politics is concerned. Uh, if he moves, because uh, the, most of the people that have moved, they have always uh, uh, cited irreconcilable difference and the high-handedness by the parties and all that. And that is actually what the, uh, the uh, PDP constitution says. Uh, there, is, there is the party, there is a crisis in the party. Then, then it means that he, he who alleges must prove. So if he's alleging that there is crisis in the party and he wants to move, and he has to prove that there was crisis in the party because if you remember uh, the case of several PDP members that moved and they said there was no crisis, they are saying there was crisis. The same thing in uh, APC. And uh, when they moved, they said there was a crisis in the party. That, they, what it means is that they, they, I think most of the party constitution says if there is crisis in the party, okay. you don't have a problem to seek your okay. political future in another okay. uh, I'll, I'll, uh, party. I'll come back that to you. That is actually what uh, for we get to come out openly because uh, uh, I think uh, he is the leader of the uh, CDP in Nigeria. Uh, for him to come out to say that, that means there is something actually wrong uh, that the national okay. working Okay, thank you so much. I remember that one of the reasons for always citing that as an excuse is if you're a lawmaker and you cannot move to another party if there is no existing crisis. But as a governor, you may not need to wait for crisis before you move, and that's the case of Umayi. But let's go to B now. Um, according to the higher king, he's already seen the hand of Esau or something wrong internally with PDP. Are you privy to that? Well, thank you very much, Kaudi. Uh First and foremost, I'd like to say that uh, uh, there's no, in any political setting, you should expect crisis, as long as it's politics. And But beyond that, let me say with all sense of responsibility that I don't see Governor Wiki leaving uh, the PDP, and I'm happy he has said it in the open that he's not going to leave uh, no experienced politician in Nigeria of today, no politician that is worth his salt, no politician that is not naive, in quotes, would leave PDP or any party for that matter and go into the APC. And I say this, I said with all sense of rest, because... He hasn't mentioned what APC. I could get, he said? As he mentioned APC, he only said he will leave the party, if at all, if, there's, if the rumor is true. Well, I, 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 whether APC, I know that is the only place anybody wants to go. Who will go to any other place between political parties? But I know for sure that no right thinking politician in Nigeria today will leave his party, whether it's APGA, whether it's the Youth Development Progressive Party, whether it's PDP. I'm going to a thinking party like APC. Your opinion? I'm not seeing any. 
Anybody opinion, who does that right? means that's your opinion, right? That's my opinion. Mr. So Fabi, I want to stay with that. you. I want to stay with you before I go to me. Sorry for cutting in. I, I just want to remind you because um, we have heard stronger words than these from someone in another party. And some months later, they will tell us this is a different situation. A very clear See, recent <clears throat> one is what happened in Edo State. Please, can you save us this name calling and help us look at Governor Wike possibility of staying with the party and stick to the issues or leaving the party if these issues are not addressed? The truth of the matter is, well, I will try as much as possible not to call names, but the truth of the matter is, like I said earlier, I know that, for, I know that, like, I, I still want to maintain that no right thinking position will do that. We want to leave from PDP to any party now. Let, let's leave that one. Okay. But Governor Wike is the leader of the party, is one of the leaders of PDP, is a founding member of the PT, PDP. Those that have left will always give us reasons why they left. But I know that is not, uh, say a lot of people know that those reasons are not the genuine reason why they left. But we we'll wait to see as time goes on the reason why they left, because it will still come to the open. So beyond that, as a political party and as a party person, my experience has taught me that in any political setting, people are bound to feel aggrieved at one point or the other. But when they do, it is the duty of the party to look at the merit of their complaint. It shouldn't be seen as um, what, what I call the, it, 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 it should be seen as a genuine agitation and, and not be seen as anti-party activities or somebody or putting, giving it a correction or sinister move. You have to look at the merit of the allegation the person is making. If somebody at the level of Wiki is making some complaints, in my own opinion, I see it as a genuine concern that is raising. And it's a wake-up call for the party to sit down and say, okay, let's, let us look at what this man is saying. Then it is from there you can now know the genuity of his complaint or agitation. This is the way it should be seen. Not people really mean that he's leaving the party. I need more of Wiki in the political party, not just in PDP alone, that will look at the party leadership in the face and tell them the truth. We need more of that because we need sanity in our political system. And this has to start with the political party. Okay, we good. need sanity in everything we are doing. So this has to do with those who call themselves leader. If Wiki okay. is complaining, they should look at it and look at the complaints and address it uh, meritoriously. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to some of the complaints you raised to see whether... Um, is not selfish, but is in the interest of the party. Higher King, can we yes. just, this is a party man, we don't expect him to say that anything will be wrong with his party in terms of uh, weekend living. But can we look at our politicians and their vowed commitment to party and we see them moving later on? Well, the thing is, I agree with uh, what... Um, what the speaker and the other side, although I didn't get his name correctly, Fabi. what he said, the truth is that I don't trust any politician. Any politician can move to any party. There is actually nothing wrong. And Higher King has said up to time that if I join politics, I will be changing party every year or every month as the case demands. I will change because I will not want to be where I will be battered, where I will be cheated, where my voice will not be heard, I will move. But saying that that is in derision, it is not good. But that is what we have in Nigeria. If you refuse to move, you will be the last person, you will be the one to regret about it. That is uh, saying that it is not good. In developed countries, you see people... Democrats, he's been there for 30 years. His families are Democrats, Republicans. He has 30, 40 years, 50 years. People are Democrats or Republicans. But in Nigeria, we have not gotten to that level yet. So I wouldn't be surprised if anybody leaves. It was the same thing that was rumored some weeks or months ago about Terumahe uh, of uh, Ebony Say, hey, it was a lie. Hey, the media man came and said, well, at the end of the day, he moved. The same thing happened with... Um, uh, about you, about you, about you was moving, was moving. Everybody said it was a lie, it was a lie. At the end of the day, about you moved. Uh, the same thing was said about uh, Trudy Lloyd. Oh, it was moving, it was moving. At the end of the day, you moved. I don't blame any of them because of the way Nigeria politics is being played or being, you know, uh, the, the players of the politics, the way they do their thing. 
So it's, it's very it's normal. If we see Wike moving tomorrow, nobody will raise an eyebrow. It's, you know, it's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. We see them doing okay. it. That is to tell you that our politicians does not have conscience. They don't have philosophy. They don't have uh, uh, what it takes to be a politician. They are all weather or fair weather politicians. Okay. Where it is fair for okay. them. Okay, King. I think I, I got a bit confused uh, when you say it is normal. You don't blame them. They are the one creating the system. So I'm, I'm just a bit um, confused. But you will clear the air when I come back to you. Fabi, please help me out. Uh, if you say you support wicked, saying truth to the power, irrespective of whose hawks is God, where was the missing link between Wike and the leader of the NWC? Do you remember how wicked supported him through the nail? Can't he call him into a bedroom and have a chat with him rather than going public? Thank you, Kaladi. That is exactly where I want to go now in this in this line of conversation. Uh, first, I like I said earlier, there's no nobody is perfect. Even Governor Wike is not perfect. He makes mistakes as the governor of the state. So you should expect the leadership of the party to make mistakes. And when you are dealing with people, in all among all the creatures of Almighty God, human beings are the most to manage. So when you know that behind your, at the back of your mind, you understand the fallibility uh, of a human being. So as far as I know, this conversation, uh, for me, I am not worried about it because um, we are get, we'll get to a point when both the leaders and the lead in the party will have to sit down and ask a very fundamental question. What do we want? We want to remain in government or we want to be out of power. So the answer to this will tell everybody we will give. We we'll tell everybody, you know, what they need to do. I I don't think there is any crisis between the leadership between Secondos, which is Secondos, the national chairman of the party, and uh, and uh, and the governor Wiki. They are friends. They are brothers. Governor Wiki was made a very huge contribution to his, uh, you know, ascendance into power. And along the line, there may have been some infractions here and there. But I know at the, at the, it will get to a point that it will be sorted out. But now come to what you said. I would have expected that even if Governor Wiki had any issue with the leadership of the party, um, because of his relationship with the leadership, with especially um, Prince Uji Secondos, they could have you know, locked themselves up in a room and talked about it. But on the other hand, I like the way this thing is going. Because we need some people who will be giving us this wake-up call at every point in time. PDP has all the opportunities in this world to take advantage of what is happening in this country, to come back to power and deliver the goods they are capable of doing, okay. that they have done in the, last, they did in the first 16 years of their, of their heart. Okay. So we need people like this to come out. And it's not only Governor Wicked that is talking, a lot of people like equally talking. The former governor of Wicked, Fauci, is always talking to and, and making his view known. So someone like me, when I see that party is not doing anything, I come out in the open and tell them, this is what we think. Of. So we must be able to express okay. our view, which I see that Governor Wicke is doing. Okay. And it shouldn't create any, any tension anywhere. Okay. We will solve let, let, let me just uh, apologize ahead that uh, this is one of those days where we will not have enough time for you to um, register your view, but your view is well captured. But let me have Haya King round up this discussion. Haya King, do you imagine Wiki back or going to APC and being the same party with uh, former Governor Michi? Wow, I think we've lost that connection. Because I can tell you, Mr. B, you will insist that it will never happen. <laughs> oh, no, no, so no, sad no, that we... <laughs> It can happen in politics. If you say Governor Umayu will leave PDP, you will say no. So it can happen. But but we just have to bring sanity into this system. If truly want to move on, we want to move forward in our political uh, you know journey. It is important. It is really really important. Okay, thank you so much, Oladi uh, Meji um, Fabi, a member of PDP and a strong one at that. But may I just warn you that whatever you said, it's on the internet. Time will tell. Posterity will judge and would like to quote you in two, three, four, five years, ten years' time that you said that some things can happen, some things cannot happen. So maybe yes, a warning next you. time, watch what you say. Thank you for your time. Uh, and unfortunately, we understand that the higher king is no longer available. So we want to say thank you to him in absentia. We hope to have him some other time to register his opinion on some of these political 
and if possible, legal issues. And to our viewers, we'll take a breather. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take on the issue of the presidency's response to the issue of insecurity. Please don't go anywhere. Here is my take. Why no one is expecting the president to lead the army with ammunition? Its presence unarguably will calm some nerves and steer hope of many, if not all. The leadership many expect is that of sympathy and empathy. Why not overruling decisive action from the security agents? Four days is such a long time to have these children in abductors' net. Let someone not remind me of years of Chibok or Dabchi long stay in the hands of terrorists. It is not only a bad example for comparison, it is also an epitome of ineptitude and complacency of our government across party lines. This request of empathy comes at no cost. It does not require technology sophistication. It does not require any form of intelligence gathering. It only requires simple act of sensitive leadership. The president being cited in the firm should not be a topic of debate, but what gives it attention is the seeming passiveness of Mr. President, who comes across as uncaring. However, rather than counting more days of sinful silence, the president can still do the needful, and he will not only silence his critics, it may as well serve as morale booster to the military officers at the theater of war. And that's my take on the issues discussed tonight. Plus, politics returns tomorrow, same time, on the same station, of course. I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladende, saying bye for now.